Alrighty, so this video is gonna be a little bit different than the normal videos I do, but I did wanna make one just because it was kinda of cool. So this past weekend, I celebrated my fourth year of uh, being sober. Haven't had a drink of alcohol, beer, martini, nothing in four years, and it's been pretty interesting, and I wanted to report my findings, uh, a case study, if you will. Um, it's been very interesting. If you have the time, um, I do this often. I'm a glutton for punishment. I go back and I look at kinda of where I was at four years ago. You know, I was kinda of getting it going with the real estate side of things, figuring it out, still pretty much a solo agent um, although it's kind of working towards the direction of having a team but physically as well I mean you can tell it's a night and day difference um, you go back and I think I was like close to 350 around four years ago and not in a good way I don't know if you know a good way at 350 exists maybe for some but it wasn't for me and what it was doing was costing me consistency. I tell people that all the time, you know, as far as like, if you have an issue with drinking, that's one thing that's up to you ultimately to decide, you know, if you're waking up in the morning chugging, it's probably an issue, but that's ultimately for you to decide. But for me, it was getting in the way of my consistency, like the hangovers, as I got older, they were longer, they would hurt more. And ultimately I wouldn't get into the gym. I probably would eat like crap that day too, just because, you know, just I'm already on it, already on a roll, why not? And so what I noticed was when I removed that from my life, I would wake up every morning, I always feel great. Like I always feel great. Just, and I don't have that hangover. I don't have that feeling. So it really does. It's a cheat code, honestly, for fast tracking your success or whatever you want to do in life. There is a trade off, right? Like you do miss, you know, going out and having drinks with your buddies or, you know what I mean? Just, it's a social lubricant. It's always nice. But honestly, as you phase it out of your life, it's a little bit difficult at first, but you learn that this is just what your life is now. And for me, like the idea of drinking is just so like foreign to me where I'm just like, I won't even entertain the idea because I know I have clarity of what that exchange looks like. Sure, it's fun, right? But what you get in return as far as being sober, just removing booze from your life is astronomical, at least for me. Like, and I've seen so much enjoyment and fulfillment from, you know, the changes of my body, my business, my family. I mean, just everything. It's remarkable. So I know that we're in Vegas, right? We all drink and to each their own. This is just my experience, something that I've benefited from. Um, I know that we're all different. Some people, you know, they don't have really hangovers. God bless them. You know, they're lucky. Um, but I did and it got in the way of a lot of my goals. So I just simply removed it. And so it's one of those things too. I know, again, we live in Vegas and not only in Vegas, but in America where like alcohol is present for everything. For funerals, you know, when you're mourning, for birthdays, when you're celebrating, weddings, for when babies are born, like literally from, from when you're born to when you die, booze is prevalent. That's not the case, you know, if you go to the Middle East, like it's just different. So it's culturally based. But again, this isn't me preaching saying you shouldn't be drinking. I don't care what you do. I'm just saying it was cool for me to remove that from my life and all the advantages that I've seen from it. So if it's something that maybe that you think is holding you back, give it a shot, give it like a month and just see what benefits that you can reap from it. Because for me, it's just been astronomical. I prefer sober living over drinking, but again, to each their own.